Hey guys, what up? So today I figured I would address something that I actually addressed in one of my other videos, but I didn't really go into much detail, and that is uh, the pouch that I made and so on. And um, by this I mean leather work. Uh, this was the very first thing I made actually at leather, and for a first time with pretty much no experience apart from when I was armoring my gloves and pretty much Horrock said here's one that I made earlier now it's your turn I was like well okay but I uh, for a first attempt I think it's not bad honestly um, but really all I used to make this was two well, a big piece of leather, folded it in half, cut it, sewed it together again, Horrock put this bit on the front, and sewed some bits for the for the belt to go through. And that was it really. Made a hole in the front. And yeah, that was it. Um, and for my first bit I thought that was okay. But I was told, you know, as I was sat making this, horror was going on about, you know, uh, armoring gloves, blah blah blah, leather work, blah blah blah, could be one of the most tedious things ever, blah 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 blah. <laughs> um, but I actually found it really interesting. Um, and it was actually after he said that during making the gloves that I said, you know, can I make something else? And he said, yeah, why not try making a pouch? And I said, okay. Um, and I went on to make this. And recently, because I got my scram sacks, scram sacks, nice catch, <laughs> got my scram sacks for Christmas, um, Horrock had been going on about making a sheath for it for a while, and so today I've been doing that. And here it is, Horrock if you're watching, which you probably are, this is, I've finished it. <laughs> Don't know what you're going to make of it, but Dad thinks it's okay, so... Yeah, um, basically to make this I got a big piece of leather, folded it over it, making sure that the, uh, the, that bit, up here, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say, okay, uh, yeah, I do not recall if that's right or not. And again, if Horik, you're watching this and I've done it wrong, I'm so sorry. But yeah, okay. Do not use this as an instructional video because I'm telling you, you'll uh, just don't, okay? <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm hoping that's the right way. <laughs> uh, and then, because, you know, you see people with them like that. You can do it like that with them hanging down, but most commonly, they would be like this, you put your belt through there and they would hang each side like that or whatever. Um, with these basically along the stitching that you've done already along here you just hoop the band around, sew it up there to attach it and then sew it here as well so that the, uh, the belt isn't sliding around here or whatever, it's always up here. And uh, you want to make sure that it goes over this handle bit as well because that actually holds it in instead of letting it just slide out of the tongue. And uh, that took me about two hours at Horrocks and then maybe another hour uh, just now uh, to finish. So I'm actually quite happy with that. You can see where the, uh, <laughs> the stitching has actually gone a little bit sloppy. It was alright at the beginning. It's gone a little bit wider towards the end. But never mind. Um, I was just amazed that anyone decided to trust me with a Stanley knife. Uh, those of you who know me are probably thinking why are they trusting her with weapons at all? But hey, it's blunt. See, it's blunt. You could kill someone with it, but not by hacking them to death, so it's okay. <laughs> um, the pain in the ass thing about this though, there's two main things that are so, so annoying about leather work that I can totally agree with. The first one is not as p much of a pain in the ass, but still a pain in the ass. This, the bridle, 
Again, that is sharp, so I'm actually quite surprised that I get trusted with one of these. Yeah, Horrocks sat at home going, oh god, what have I done? <laughs> no, no, oh, oh, no, no, don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, but yeah, this rattle, um, there's two things in itself that this is a pain in the ass. One, if you're going through something, you're supposed to do it on a board. Some people do, some people don't. Most people do. Some idiots like me don't. And sometimes, most of the time, that's right, you go through. Sometimes, if you're not careful, you go through into your hand or your fingers. Happens a lot, even if you're using a board. That, I don't know if you can see how sharp that is. That's pretty damn sharp. Obviously, because it's got to go through the leather, but that hurts if it goes through your fingers. The second thing is, if you're doing a big long thing like this, uh, you know, especially because this leather is pretty damn thick, especially when I was doing these bits, that's got to go through four bits of leather, sat there doing that, that's hitting against your palm all the time, it's going to create blisters, and you get cramp in your hand, and it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, but the second thing, and the most annoying thing about leather work, threading the needle, okay, do not look lightly upon threading the needle. I'm telling you, it is a nightmare. Okay? Because this needle, you've got the thread there. That's how thick that thread is. And then you've got the needle that's about, I don't know, a couple of miller, 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 millimeters. That's like a, a, a third of a millimeter is a miller millimeter and then a third of a third of a miller miller millimeter is a miller miller millimeter about 10 just imagine that right times smaller than that it's just smaller than the thread the eye of the needle is just smaller than the thread and it's ridiculous trying to get that needle threaded ridiculous right but i'm actually quite pleased with myself because i was threading this Oh no, I was sewing this and about, I think it was on one of these bits, no, it was on one of these bits, it came unthreaded. I had about that much left so I couldn't go screw it, I, I was coming to the end of the thread anyways, which is starting here and I was like, oh bugger, this is going to be difficult. But I did it, I did it, I re-threaded it and I genuinely went, fuck yeah! And then it came unthreaded again. I was like, oh god, what have I done? But I re-threaded it again, so I'm dead proud of myself. Never mind the fact that I've managed to make a sheath. I re-threaded the needle. Yes, but seriously, re-threading the needle is like the tedious irritation of trying to thread a needle. Now, well, not nowadays, a modern needle with some modern thread that's really thin and it's supposed to be, you know, it's got to be a lot easier it's got to be the irritation of that times a billion, okay? It is ridiculous. We had to pass it from Leith to Horik, back to Leith again, and then Rosie tried and she couldn't do it, so we passed it back to Horik, and eventually he did it. But it is just so tedious. Um, but yeah, these these are some of the uh, cool things that you get to make, and even more. There is loads of stuff that you can make with leather, and uh, this is more the uh, living history part of you know, Viking reenactment, because I go on a lot about, yeah, we get together and hit each other with sticks. No, we don't. I mean, I don't say that, actually, but, you know, we don't get together and hit each other with sticks. <laughs> uh, it's lots of fun not hitting each other with sticks, but yeah. Um, but there's also the living history part of it, you know, that we do living history camps and whatever, and there's loads of things that you can do that aren't combat, you know? There's leather work, there's metal work, there's all sorts of things. And, you know, that's that's the fun of it as well. It's not just getting together and fighting each other. It's having a good time, doing things you love, making stuff, making a role for yourself in the camp, and actually being a Viking. It is it is Viking reenactment. I mean, there's a lot of focus on fighting, yes, but there's other stuff to it rather than just the fighting. So... You know, as I say, even though there are a lot of, you know, health and safety regulations and whatever, um, well, I mean, saying that, 
uh, Har uh, Horik did kind of uh, get a kind of a nasty bruise on the leg from Matt's straight thrust, which we're not supposed to do, but he did it by accident. And it is kind of dangerous even with all the health and safety risks. So yeah, that's got to count for something. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you are interested, um, go visit the Facebook page. Um, that's it really, that's all I can say. Um, it's a great deal of fun. You get to make cool stuff. You get to learn to use awesome weapons, etc. So come join in the fun.